Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. So, the question about will the UPND turn around things? make the economy work and I would say that it's like it's like a game uh, of football where you are down by three goals okay three goals you are down and you're in the second half you're in the second half and everybody's there anxious what's gonna happen I mean, are we losing this game? Are we going to win it? The possibility is that it's possible that a game even from 3-0 can be turned around. You score the first goal, you score the second goal, the third goal, and you score a winning goal. You know? Yes, coming from behind. And in extra time, you even score another one. And you win with a comfortable 5-3. A game that started from 3-0. Now, from the political point of view and the current situation, uh, but before I go there, what would take a team to turn around the game? If you ask really what would take a game to turn around, 3-0 to turn it around to come and win it? Firstly, it has to start with a coach. Firstly, it has to start with a coach. The coach is very important because the coach is the one that will come up with a strategy. You need a strategy. So, first of all, the coach has to read the game, understand the game, because you can never change the strategy if you do not understand the situation. So, a coach must be one person that is able to read the game and understand the game. This is how these guys are playing. And this is where the weaknesses are. So for us to win, we need to change the game. And once you change the game, you come up with a strategy. The next thing is who can play where. Because that strategy, exactly, that strategy which you are going to come, I don't know if it's 2-2-4, two, two, whatever, whatever. And you need to say, in the midfield, I need somebody that can be able to dribble and kick the ball onto the side and on the side i must have a winger who is able to cross and i need to have a guy who is fast you know that is a strategy and you should be able to know which players can go into the game and effect that change or that strategy exactly and so once you do that again you leave it with the politi with the with the players you know you will tell them and then now it was also up to their skills their personal skills and intelligence because yes you can change this guy you put him there but if he's not skilled enough if he's not sharp enough because the game doesn't come as they as you plan it you know what i mean you know you can say this guy will be kicking this way but the guy that side must be able to see how is the ball coming what should I do? Should I use a header? Should I use a chest? Should I, you know, that is on his intelligence. And he will be marked. People will come to attack him. It is up to his intelligence, his skill to dribble and effect that cross. So, now, coming to our situation, number one, it is up to the president. The president is the coach. He has to read the game and understand the game. Understanding it fully. 
not verboza boza <laughs> not verboza boza being taught you know it's like a coach who is in a hospital bed and is being told to say no the game is going on like this like this and say no okay in this way no you need to understand it and in other words practically speaking it's like the president need to understand what is currently going on in the country which to me my brother i think the president on a number of issues he doesn't know what really is going on because he's so positive about certain aspects which when you go on the ground totally different i can give one example this cdf that the president always talk about he is very positive about it very positive it's not only in kasama it's not only in kasama it's in many areas you know the president he talks from a theoretical num numerical point of view theoretical numerical point of view Yeah, but but from the present point of view he gets a report that uh, look um so much has gone this has been done this has been done i wish the president was getting that realistically from the ground Yeah. So anyway, that is just a, an example that um, uh, the president need to really appreciate what is really happening on the ground. So one CDF is one another example. Another example that I would pick on is this very uh, farming input. When the minister is talking about the farming input and whatever, 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 it is so sweet. It is really sweet. But on the ground, it is something else. It is really something else. When you talk about the another issue is the youths. You know, the youths are the majority. The youths are the majority. And uh, when you have to change things, you need to understand the reality of the youths. The reality of the youth. It is not just a, um, a, a smoke screen uh, pronouncements, cosmetic, I think that's a better word, cosmetic pronouncements about job creation, which ZDA recently announced that we, they have made about 100 and, 150,000 jobs. Well, it looks. It, it looks it looks nice on paper but really is it what is really happening in the on the ground then the the other issue is uh, the other issue is uh, uh, you know when you prom when you talk about young people and you talk about you say we're going to employ so many thousands of teachers so many thousands of uh, whatever men in uniform and so on and so forth it's very nice to make those pronouncements. But right now, I am just, if I look in, in my inbox, I have a number of people, you know, complaining about the teachers being employed, uh, teachers not being paid, uh, what are these also, interns not being paid. This is a reality. This is a reality. And I wish the president would really have a feel of these things as a reality other than the nice uh, pronouncements or the nice reports that he receives because this being the case the president will not be able to make the right changes or bring the right strategies and this is where some of these uh, you know uh, efforts of the president are being defeated i really appreciate the president myself i think he's very zealous i think he really wants to change things around 
But I think that the number one problem is that the president doesn't really have the pragmatic situation in the country, what is really, really happening in the country. And since he doesn't have that, you know, he's busy thinking that he's doing good. And yet on the reality, uh, there, there is nothing. So then the third, the second point is that, first, so the first thing is that the president has to understand that. And then the second thing is that you must have the right people, just like a coach must have the right players. If he doesn't have the right players, no matter what good strategy he come up with, he will not be able to deliver. So it, is, it also comes to the people that the president have, because he can only work with those that are available at him. And uh, I'm afraid that the president has a lot of more passengers than useful, uh, uh, effective players. That's my fear. There are a number of people who are in this government who are just drawing a salary. They're doing very little. And they don't even understand anything, just like Ikula, Idirimuitim. Ikula, Idirimuitim. He's just running. He doesn't even know. The guy jumps out of a GX, you know, with the aircon. No, but the point is that the, the point I wouldn't uh, falter the president to reward those that sacrificed because politics is like that. The only thing is that you must have three streams of how you award of how you award people three streams so the first one the people that you get the first one is the business community those who sacrifice for you who put in money those ones they are very important and you need to reward them how do you reward them make sure you give them good business and you pay them on time once you do that these people will bring it will revitalize the economy they will revitalize the economy they will create employment they will build structures so that is one the second one is uh, where you appoint people it's important people need jobs we need jobs but then this must be skilled people that can perform exactly that can perform like a coach indeed say you put in somebody must be able to, to do yeah and then the third stream is the vuvuzelas the vuvuzelas and the cadres and whatever whatever they also need to be rewarded how do you reward those you reward those through party functions you reward those through party functions the party must be alive the party must have activity there must be activity today you know we're coming to the end of the year there must be some political party uh, uh, gatherings you know uh, people coming you know they feel good you appease those at that level as they are going you know christmas they go with a chicken they go with like a 300 home that's how you keep those and where does that money come from this is the money that come from well wishes you are a ruling party a ruling party should not struggle with finances yeah so so my brother if these things put together the president is fully alive to what is going on uh he has the right people you know he has the right people that can do the job he has the support of these three categories of people politically you know those that are in business those that are working in government and the foot soldiers if you put up a, a good strategy you say within six months we must see results i can assure you it will be like you are saying within next year we must go next year six months we must have one goal Going to the second half 
of next year 2024 you must be able to score another goal so you are going into 2025 with two goals it is like you are going into the 80th minute with the two goals you are down by one goal so 2025 you implement another six months uh, issue you have the third goal All right, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.